So one of the uh, new things that I, I've always wondered why Catholic priests aren't married. And uh, I've you know, obviously grown up Catholic in an Irish family and uh, befriended a lot of good priests. And, and uh, you know, that's one thing I've just always wondered. And I started doing some research on it to find out the reason why, because I couldn't find anything in the Bible specifically saying, you know, priests shouldn't be married. Uh, I believe most of the apostles were married, and obviously they were the first popes and priests for the you know, Catholic religion and the Christian religion that matter. And most other Christian faiths obviously have married uh, priests and pastors, and, and it's just something that I've always wondered the history about. And I read an article about why that happened, and it, it kind of plays into this overall feeling of man interfering with, you know, their, their you know, what I believe is Jesus' version of, you know, how we should, um, how we should worship. And... I went on to find out that one of the big reasons why Catholics, uh, the priests weren't allowed to be married was they were allowed to be married for a long time. And I forget which specific time, you know, it was the 1300s, 1400s, 1500s, but somewhere along the line, the Catholic Church um, stopped allowing priests to be married because what would happen is a priest would be in, in a, a town and he would have a family and, and children and his son would naturally become the priest of that parish and all the uh, wealth that the priest had accumulated um, would be passed on to his son. And as that happened, um, the parish remained viable and, and was able to be trans transferred on. But the Holy See in the Vatican um, saw that as, I believe, a big wealth potential. And when they disallowed pr new priests to be married, um, throughout you know, a generation or so, all the wealth would naturally flow to the Vatican. And because they would not be allowed to have any more kids, you know, they wouldn't be allowed to be married, they wouldn't have any more kids, and their wealth wouldn't be transferred down to their kids. So it would stay in this, it would naturally be transferred to um, the Vatican. This, I believe, is a huge reason why the Vatican became one of the largest landholders in the world is because if you have this franchise out there, let's call it, where a, a priest would go out and start up his own, uh, you know, franchise in a town and have this revenue that's tax-free, by the way, uh, the church is allowed to collect all this, and then uh, because the church owns all the land and stuff, they then have all this tax-free land that they have. So um, I, I don't believe that there's a theological reason why priests should be married, um, but I do believe there is a, uh, a man-made and what I believe a greedy reason why priests should be married. And I also find it, um, I find it ironic that because of this specific thing, it's one of the main reasons why the Catholic Church is falling apart. Um, by not allowing priests to be married, you've attracted um, probably the wrong people to preach the Word of God. Um, we all know the priest sex scandals that happened. Um, I watched a video called uh, Deliver Us From Evil, which I highly recommend, uh, about a one Irish Catholic priest out in California who was transferred five to six times to different parishes, and he was just a serial rapist. I mean, he... He, he raped everybody, uh, little boys, girls, uh, I think at one point an 18-month-old uh, baby girl, um, mothers, wives, um, and the Catholic Church kept covering up for him. And I think it's this unnatural relation that the Catholic Church has voiced it upon its priests um, that is basically going to lead to the downfall of the Catholic Church because not only are the priests getting older, there's no young people getting involved, um, and it's something that I really wish they would consider changing again um, and allowing men and women, you know, men to be married uh, or the priest to be married. And I hope that's something that uh, you know brings a different thought about why priests aren't going to be married and, and how maybe the Catholic Church can revive itself.